the, the question relates to the ongoing uh, inequality in pay of different groups of teachers, and obviously this applies to other public sector work, workers as well. And to ask the Minister, when will that pay inequality end? And if you'll report on discussions you've had with the ASTI. And Minister, can you also respond to the victimisation of members of the ASTI who will not now receive partial pay restoration because they're a union member, something that we thought it was meant to have ended with the likes of 1913. Thank you, Minister. Uh, reached uh, with the TUI and the INTO on the issue of new entrance pay will result in increases of up to €2,000 per year for new teachers at the start of their careers. The estimated value of these increases over te a teacher's career is 135000 This new arrangement will apply to members of the teachers' unions which have signed up to the Lansdowne Road Agreement, in other words, the TUI and the INTO. This agreement gives substantial benefits to new teachers and shows what is possible through dialogue and negotiation within the Lansdowne Road agreement. ASTI's decision to withdraw from the Croke Park hours means that the union has placed itself outside of the Lansdowne Road agreement. However, the benefits of the new entrance pay deal can also be available to ASTI members. With that objective in mind, I wrote to the ASTI in the last fortnight to confirm my willingness to conclude a similar agreement with them and to deliver these benefits to newly qualified ASTI members in the context of the union's cooperation with the Lansdowne Road Agreement. I also reiterated my department's offer to suspend the implementation of measures associated with the repudiation of the Lansdowne Road Agreement if the union suspends the directive to withdraw from Croke Park hours. This would provide a more constructive context for talks to take place and would avoid disruption in schools. It would also mean that thousands of ASTI teachers would receive the payment for supervision and substitution, as well as the other benefits and protections uh, that the Lansdowne Road Agreement provides. Unfortunately, the ASTI have refused this offer thus far, but it remains open. Despite this, my department is making arrangements to continue the ongoing discussions with the ASTI in relation to their issues of concern. I believe that continuing dialogue between my department and the ASTI would be in the best interest of schools, parents, students and teachers, as is evidenced by the agreement reached with the INTO and the TUI. It is regrettable that the ASTI seem determined to pursue a route of confrontation rather than dialogue. Thank you, uh, Deputy Covinger. Um, ministers, there are three sets of pay scales operating and teaching at the moment, three. And whatever happened to equal pay for equal work? So you have people who qualified post-2011 and 2012 doing exactly the same work as a teacher in the classroom next door getting paid less. You have to answer how you justify that. That's why the ASTI has taken a stance. And just to make it clear, the ASTI is often told, oh, you're the only teachers' union not to accept this. The ASTI is the largest secondary teachers union. The TUI has a mix of different members and I, I, that is how I would explain the differing results because obviously if you don't work in those conditions well then you may deliver a different result. But the hourly rates of pay have been reduced, the qualified rate has been reduced and the allowances have been taken off and we have teachers and others in precarious work uh, working in a one in four secondary teachers being part-time forced to take up other employment as well. How long is that going to continue, Minister? And stop attacking the ASTI when they're trying to take a stand against that. Minister. I'm not attacking the ASTI. I'm saying very clearly that there is the opportunity for the members of the ASTI to benefit from uh, agreements that are, are now in place with the TUI and the INTO that can real, give real benefits to their members. They include the substitution and uh, supervision um, amount, which is over 700 this year, and another payment later. They include addressing the qualification allowance which they lost, and that is the biggest issue for new entrants, where uh, a significant loss, and that's been restored on two phases. It includes flexibility on the 33 hours, which is the subject of, of some of the ASTI's objections, where we've concluded more flexibility to allow those hours to be uh, used more usefully. And it includes uh, the issue of permanency for their members, which is now being facilitated by new provisions. So what I'm saying is there are real benefits there available uh, in the agreements that we've worked out, and I think they address the issues. It is correct to say that there is remaining issues, uh, that some newly qualified teachers are paid less than those who have longer service. But that is an issue that applies right 
across the public service. Uh, and that is being addressed by the Public Service Commission, which the Minister for Public Expenditure and Reform is establishing. And the terms of reference of that will, will, will soon be uh, worked you, out. Minister. So there is a comprehensive approach to the issues of concern, which are genuine for the teaching profession. But I believe that the approach of dialogue is the right approach to pursue in the interests of children and indeed teachers. Deputy Coppinger. Acts. What you did to get uh, the, those agreements passed with other unions was you used the Acts, the threat of FEMPI, to get those agreements passed. One or two unions stuck out and didn't uh, adhere to those threats. And what happens? You victimise the members, you victimise the young teachers and try to stop them getting partial pay restoration as a result. Equal pay for equal work used to be a core principle of trade unionism. That's how women won the right to equal pay and it's how migrants and others should as well. It's a, been a long-standing principle. There's been a rise in employers treating new entrants badly, and uh, it was important, and it is important now in the so-called recovery, that workers take a stand on that. I support the ASTI in their ballot for industrial action against this particular uh, measure. And I also support anything that takes young workers, young graduates, newer graduates, out of low pay and precarious work. And I ask the TUI, because what has to happen here is you have to sign a book that's passed around the staff room saying what union you're a member of. And if you're a member of the ASTI, you don't get the increase. Thank and you, if you're a member Carpenter. of the TUI, you get the increase. And I'd ask people in the TUI not to go along with Thank this you. kind of division. Deputy Byrne. 